Welcome back to Post Time. The Progress Pace is the signature race that takes place at Dover Downs. Now the final happens tonight, but first we got to figure out who made it. This is elimination number one for the Progress Pace. The way this works is that the top four finishers make the final, which takes place tonight, November 13th. Let's toss it up to the top of the grandstand to announcer Jack Gallagher for the call. Bit off from between horses, there goes Wind Me Up out for the lead, far outside Westward Ho Hanover, and down to the Real Powerful Mist. Outside, taking back now is Reckless Rick moving through at the rail. That's Alsace Hanover, another two lanes to Rock to Glory, followed by Looking for Adventure and Reckless Rick back to last. They go by the quarter end from the outside. Westward Ho Hanover's up to get the lead in 26 and 1. It's Westward Ho Hanover opening up two lanes. Wind me up racing second three back. That's Powerful Miss coming to the outside. Alsace Hanover. Next is Rock to Glory who moves out to follow. Then it's Looking for Adventure and the trailer is Reckless Rick. They go into the clubhouse turn. And with the lead by a length and a half, Westward Ho Hanover. Here comes Alsace Hanover up on the outside. Wind me up is back to third. Racing up outside into fourth is Rock to Glory, 54 and three fifths. They make their way around the turn toward the back stretch. Westward Ho Hanover leads by a length and a half, almost two. On the outside, Alsace Hanover down toward the rail, wind me up. Second over trip for Rock to Glory down toward the rail, powerful mist. After that, it's looking for adventure and reckless Rick trails and moves to the outside. They race into the final turn, three quarters in 121 and four fifths. They're midway on that final turn. Westward Ho Hanover leads by just a half length. Alsace Hanover on the outside, two lanes to Rock to Glory. The others are far back. They come to the top of the stretch, turning for home. Westward Ho Hanover leads by a half length coming off the turn. Westward Ho Hanover, Alsace Hanover coming on the outside, down toward the rail, Rock to Glory coming through the stretch. Alsace Hanover, Rock to Glory down the inside. Alsace Hanover and Rock to Glory tight, 150 and one. Ryan Pierce joins me, the driver of Alsace Hanover. Before we get to talking about this horse though, this is what we miss like, you know, on really great post time moments when the camera's not running. Okay, the camera was foggy and Ron Pierce has like this genius idea. Get the scuba diving stuff, right? Yeah, you use it to, so your lenses, uh, your, your mask doesn't get foggy. Put it on the lens of your camera and it won't get foggy. I use it on my rifle scopes and binoculars. Mm -hmm. It works really good. Well, you've like been scuba diving as well, so you use it hunting and scuba diving? Um, it's really good stuff. I'm telling you, I think we're going to hire him as an associate producer for post time. I think that'd be great. Okay. The pay is really bad, but you know, you get to hang out with me. That's cool, right? Yeah, the benefits are great. Okay. Yeah. All, right. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about Alsace Hanover. So he's one to five, and I thought he raced super. What did you think? Uh, yeah, he, he went a big trip. He was uh, first up at the quarter the rest of the mile, and uh, he just wore him down. He's, he's really tough, that horse. He, he's a fighter. You've driven him a couple times, and you really seem to get along with him. So what's he like to drive, and uh, what do you think about sitting behind him? Easy, hard? Well, um, the first time I raced him was in the Adios Eliminations out there in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, I was told to be real careful in the turns because he gets a little bumpy, he gets to hitting his inside knee. So, so um, I wound up giving him the same trip that he had tonight. I gave him out there, but uh, I wound up brushing the top down the back stretch. And he, he was just unbelievable. He was just very powerful. And he, he won the elimination um, like that. And then uh, same thing in the final. He got the same trip in the final. Uh, he, he could take a lot of air this colt. And um, then we raced him in Lexington. He went back up to Canada. He came back down to Lexington. And, uh, and uh, I wound up going to the front out there because uh, in the Totter Cells. There wasn't much speed in the race, so we, we decided to uh, take the race to them instead of letting the race come to us. And uh, I wound up going to the front, and it, it was uh, head and head down the lane with the same horse that we just beat with that uh, Pallone was driving there. So he had to work extra hard out there tonight. He, he was really uh, powerful, very impressive. Yes, and you are really impressing me tonight. That's why Ron Pierce is in the Hall of Fame. Exactly. What a memory. I'm really impressed. That's amazing. How do you sit behind a horse and just remember? you know, how they feel and what they do. I mean, is, do you do that with every single horse? No, not at all. <laughs> um, 
You know what it is, uh, Heather, is I can remember the horse, but I can't remember the horse's name. Now you show me that horse's ass and we take a few steps on the gate, it all comes back to me, or on the track, it, it all comes back to me. But uh, as far as remembering names, I'm real bad, but I, I, as soon as I see that horse's ass and, and, and he goes paces off or trots off, then I, everything comes back to me then. You heard it here first, folks. It's all about the booty, you know what I'm saying? Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> One progress Pacey Lim is down and one to go. Coming up, we'll see who else made it into this prestigious event at Dover Downs. So don't touch that dial.